Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. How about yourself? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. No problem. So how have you been? I've been great. What about you? I've been good. I'm in school right now. What school do you go to? I go to PCC. Do you like it there? It's okay. It's a really big campus. Good luck with school. Thank you very much. It's an ugly day today. I know. I think it may rain. It's the middle of winter. It shouldn't rain today. That would be weird. Yeah, especially since it's 80 degrees outside. I know. It would be horrible if it rained and it was hot outside. Yes, it would be. I really wish it wasn't so hot every day. Me too. I can't wait until spring. I like spring too, but sometimes it gets too cold. I'd rather be cold than hot. Me too. It doesn't look very nice outside today. You're right. I think it's going to rain later. In the middle of the spring, it shouldn't be raining. That wouldn't seem right. Considering that it's over 70 degrees outside, that would be weird. Exactly. It wouldn't be nice if it started raining. It's too hot. I know. You're absolutely right. I wish it would cool off one day. That's how I feel. I want summer to come soon. I enjoy the summer, but it gets really cold sometimes. I know what you mean, but I'd rather be cold than hot. That's exactly how I feel. I wish it was a nicer day today. That is true. I hope it doesn't rain. It wouldn't rain in the middle of the winter. It wouldn't seem right if it started raining right now. It would be weird if it started raining in 80 degree weather. Any rain right now would be pointless. That's right, it really would be. I wanted to cool down some. I know what you mean, I can't wait until it's summer. Summer is great. I wish it didn't get so cold sometimes though. I would rather deal with the winter than the summer. I feel the same way. Hello. May I speak to Emma please? This is she. How's it going? I've been trying to call you all day. Sorry about that. I was cleaning up. It's okay. So what were you calling me about? Oh, I just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out tomorrow. Sure, what did you want to do? Maybe we can go see a movie or something. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. I'll see you tomorrow then. See you then. Goodbye. Hi, how are you? Isn't there? Speaking. What's up? Why haven't you answered the phone? My bad, I had chores to do. That's all right. What was the reason for your call? I want to do something tomorrow with you. Sounds good. What did you have in mind? I was thinking about seeing a movie. Okay, let's go see a movie. Until then. Talk to you later. Is Emily available? You're talking to her. I've called you a hundred times today. I was busy doing something. I apologize. No problem. Did you need something? 
Do you want to do something tomorrow? Is there somewhere special you wanted to go? How about a movie? A movie sounds good. Call me tomorrow then. I will see you tomorrow. Have you seen the new girl in college? No, I haven't. She's really pretty. Describe her to me. She's not too tall. Well, how tall is she? She's about six feet even. What does she look like, though? She has pretty light brown eyes. I may know which girl you're talking about. So you have seen her around? Yes, I have. There's a new girl in college. Have you seen her yet? I haven't seen her yet. I think that she is very pretty. Tell me how she looks. She's kind of short. What height is she? She's probably about five feet. That's nice, but tell me what she looks like. The first thing I noticed was her beautiful brown eyes. I think I might have bumped into her before. Are you telling me that you've seen her before? I believe so. Have you met the new girl? No. Have you? She's one of the prettiest girls at the school. What does she look like? Well, she's quite short. How tall would you say that she is? I would say she's only six feet. What about her facial features? She has light brown eyes, absolutely beautiful. I think I know who you're talking about. Have you seen her? I think that I have. Why weren't you at school yesterday? I wasn't really feeling well. What was wrong with you? My stomach was upset. Do you feel better now? I don't really feel too well yet. Do you want anything to make you feel better? No, thanks. I already took some medicine. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Did you hear the good news? No, I haven't. What's the news? I got a promotion at my job. Did you really? Seriously, I am so excited. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Really? Yes. You really deserve this. You think so? Absolutely. You've been working so hard and putting in extra effort. Thanks, that means a lot. It's the truth. Your dedication and talent finally paid off. I appreciate your support. You've always been a valuable member of the team, and this promotion is well deserved. I'm grateful to have friends like you. We're thrilled for your success, and we can't wait to see all the great things you'll achieve in this new role. Thanks, it's good to know I have such supportive friends. You've earned it, my friend. Congratulations again. You look really nice today. Thank you. I just got this outfit the other day. Really? Where did you get it? I got it from Macy's. They had a sale, and I couldn't resist. It's really nice. 
The colors suit you well. Thanks again. You look nice today, too. That shirt complements your style. Thank you. Funny you should mention that. I just got these shoes today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are called All-Star Chuck Taylors. They're super comfortable, and I love the classic design. I really like those. How much did they cost? They were about $40, which I thought was a good deal for the quality. That's not bad at all. I think I'm going to go buy myself a pair. They seem like they'd go well with a lot of outfits. Absolutely, they're versatile and stylish. You won't regret it. Thanks for the tip. I'll head to the store after work. Tell me, what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I enjoy drawing and painting. You know how to draw and paint? Yes, I do. It's been a passion of mine for a while now. When did you learn how to do that? I first picked up the basics back in high school. Oh, so you took an art class? Yeah, I took a few art classes, and they really fueled my interest and creativity. I see that you're pretty talented. Thank you very much. It's something I love doing, and I've worked hard to improve over the years. I wish I had a talent like that. I'm sure you have a talent of your own. Sometimes, it just takes time to discover what it is. You think so? Absolutely. Everyone has unique abilities and interests. You just have to explore and find what truly captivates you. Thanks for the encouragement. Maybe I'll start exploring some new hobbies. That's the spirit. Who knows what hidden talents you might uncover along the way. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Superball. Oh, why is that? It's the funniest movie that I've ever seen. The humor is just so relatable and well done. That's true. It is a very funny movie. The awkward situations those characters get into are hilarious. You've seen it before? Yes, I saw that movie the first day it came out in theaters. It was a riot. Didn't you laugh through the whole movie? I did. Absolutely. I couldn't stop laughing. It was one of those films where you laugh so hard it hurts. Me too. That movie brought tears to my eyes. Mine too. I think I've watched it multiple times, and it still cracks me up. It's a classic for sure. I have it on DVD at my house if you want to come over and watch it again sometime. Sure, let's go. I can never get enough of Superbad's humor. It's a plan. What type of music do you like to listen to? I like listening to different kinds of music. Like what, for instance? Well, I really enjoy rock and R&B. Rock and R&B, interesting choices. What draws you to those genres? I think it's the variety of instruments they use in these genres. In rock, you have the powerful guitars, drums, and often intricate arrangements that create a lot of energy. 
In R&B, there's a smooth blend of vocals, soulful melodies, and often complex rhythms that I find captivating. That's a good reason to like something. It's fascinating how different musical elements can resonate with people. Absolutely. Music has a unique way of connecting with our emotions and personal tastes. Do you have any favorite artists or bands within these genres? Oh, definitely. For rock, I'm a big fan of Led Zeppelin and Queen. Their music is timeless. In R&B, artists like Marvin Gaye and Alicia Keys really stand out for me. Those are some great choices. They've made significant contributions to music. Yeah, their music has left a lasting impact on generations. It's always interesting to hear what kind of music people connect with. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Music is such a rich and diverse world, there's always something new to discover and enjoy. Hello, I need to register for a class. Of course, what class are you trying to take? I want to take a psychology class. Well, there are only two classes open at the moment. Can you tell me what days the classes are on? Certainly. One class is scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And the other class? The other class meets on Monday and Wednesday from 10 to 12 in the morning. Are you sure these are the only open classes for psychology? Yes, I am absolutely sure. These are the only options available for this semester. All right, please sign me up for the class on Monday and Wednesday, then. Very well then. You're now officially registered for the Monday and Wednesday psychology class. Good luck with your studies! Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing great. That's great to hear. So how long have you been going to BCC? I've been going here for a couple of years now. You? This is my first year. How do you like it so far? It's all right. You don't like it? I like it better once I finish my B. That's exactly how I used to feel. Could you help me? What do you need? I can't seem to find my class. What building is it in? It's in the D building. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Do you think you can tell me where it is? Sure, what room number is it? It's room number 228. I have a class around there right now. Could you show me where it is? No problem, come on. Let's head to the D building together. How do I buy my textbooks? Do you have your book list for your class? Yes, I have my list. Fine. Once you have it, you can go to the bookstore. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know where the bookstore is. Okay, so once you pass the gym, it's the first door on your left. Do you know you can also sell your used textbooks there? No, I didn't know I could do that. You just take them with you and trade them with the used textbook man just outside the door. Do you think you will be doing that today? Yes, I am going today. 
Well, if you decide to go, I could meet you over there at 3 o'clock today or tomorrow to help you. Would that work for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Well, then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day! Hey, Sam! I just watched an amazing movie last night. Have you seen any good films lately? Hey, Sally! I've been so busy with work, I haven't had the chance. What movie was it, and should I add it to my list? It was Inception. You definitely should. The mind-bending plot and stunning visuals are worth it. Inception, huh? I've heard great things about it. Speaking of entertainment, do you have any favorite TV shows you're watching? Yes, I'm hooked on Stranger Things right now. The 80s nostalgia and supernatural elements are so captivating. How about you? I love Stranger Things too. I'm also a big fan of Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad. So many great series out there. Agreed. Those are classics. By the way, do you enjoy reading? I recently finished a fantastic novel. I do enjoy reading. What's the book? And would you recommend it? It's The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. It's a beautifully written fantasy novel with a unique and enchanting story. Highly recommended. I'll check it out for sure. So, what about sports and fitness? Do you have a favorite sport or workout routine? I'm into running. It helps me clear my mind and stay in shape. How about you? Any fitness activities you enjoy? I prefer yoga. It's not just a physical workout, but also helps me relax and stay centered. Great for both the body and mind. That's awesome. I've always wanted to try yoga. Maybe you can give me some tips sometime. Of course, I'd be happy to. So, have you had any exciting travel experiences recently? Not recently, but I did take a trip to Japan last year. It was amazing. The culture, food, and scenery were all incredible. Japan sounds incredible. I'd love to visit one day. I recently went to Italy, and the art and history there were mind-blowing. Italy must have been a dream. I've always wanted to see the art and architecture there. Did you have a favorite city? Florence was my favorite. The Renaissance art and architecture are simply breathtaking. Sounds like a cultural paradise. We should plan a trip together sometime. That's a great idea. It would be so much fun exploring a new destination together. Absolutely. In the meantime, it's been a pleasure discussing our interests and experiences. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Sally.
Looking forward to our next conversation. Take care. Hi, Edward. How's your family doing these days? Hey, Laura. They're doing well, thanks for asking. How about your family? They're good, too. I had a great family dinner last weekend. We catch up and have fun together. That sounds wonderful. It's been a while since we had a family gathering. Any special plans for the next one? We're thinking of having a barbecue in the backyard. I love cooking, so it's a perfect way to bond. That sounds like a great idea. Speaking of personal goals, have you achieved any of your recent aspirations? Well, I did manage to start my own small business, which was a big goal of mine. How about you? Any recent accomplishments? Congratulations on your business. I've been working on improving my time management and it's been quite successful. I've become more productive. That's a valuable skill to have. Life experiences can teach us so much. Have you had any memorable experiences recently? Actually, I took a solo trip to the mountains last month. The solitude and nature were an incredible experience. That sounds amazing. Solo trips can be so enlightening. Do you have any exciting milestones coming up in your life? I'm turning 30 next month, and I'm planning a little celebration with friends and family. It's a big milestone for me. Happy early birthday! Turning 30 is a significant moment. Any special plans or dreams for the future? Thanks, Laura. I'm looking forward to more travel and maybe starting a family. It's an exciting and uncertain journey ahead. That's great to hear. The future is full of possibilities. We should catch up on our goals and aspirations soon. Absolutely, Laura. It's always motivating to discuss our personal lives and dreams. Take care. You too, Edward. Looking forward to our next conversation. Goodbye for now. Hey, Sarah. Did you catch the news today? Some interesting things happening in the world. Hi, Kevin. I did. That new environmental policy is getting a lot of attention. What are your thoughts on it? I think it's a step in the right direction. We need to take action to protect our planet. Speaking of politics, any other recent developments that caught your eye? Well, the recent election results are a hot topic. There's a lot of discussion about the new leaders and their policies. Yes, it's always interesting to see how these changes will affect our country. On a lighter note, have you seen the latest science discoveries? I have, and some of them are mind-blowing. The advancements in AI and space exploration are incredible. Absolutely. Technology is evolving rapidly. Did you hear about the latest pop culture trends? Any favorites? I've been following the trend of retro fashion making a comeback. 
It's fun to see old styles resurface. That's true, fashion trends are cyclical. What about music? Any new bands or artists you've been listening to? I've been enjoying the music of this indie band that just released their debut album. They have a unique sound. That's great to hear. Discovering new music is always exciting. Now, shifting back to current affairs, what's your take on the recent trade agreements? Well, it's a complex issue. It seems like they're trying to balance economic interests with environmental concerns. It's a delicate balance, for sure. And with the ongoing technological advancements, it's a dynamic landscape. You're right, technology is ever-changing. I'm curious to see how it will impact our daily lives in the near future. Me too. It's an exciting time to be alive. On a more light-hearted note, did you hear about the latest viral trends on social media? Yes, I saw some hilarious TikTok challenges going around. They always bring a smile to my face. Social media trends can be a great source of entertainment. Let's keep each other updated on these current events in our next chat. Absolutely, it's always interesting discussing these topics with you. Agreed, it's a great way to stay informed and engaged. By the way, have you tried any new technology or gadgets recently? I got a new smartphone with some amazing features. It's like a mini computer in my pocket. That sounds cool. The way technology keeps advancing is remarkable. Have you ever thought about its impact on society? I have, and it's a double-edged sword. It brings convenience and challenges at the same time. True, it's important to stay informed about these developments. What's your perspective on the recent Climate Change Summit? It's encouraging to see world leaders coming together to address the issue. But the real challenge lies in the implementation. You're right, action is what truly matters. It's fascinating how global issues like this impact our lives. Speaking of global matters, have you followed any international news stories lately? I've been keeping an eye on the situation in the Middle East. It's a complex region with ongoing conflicts. Geopolitics can be so intricate. It's essential to stay informed to understand the world better. Shifting gears a bit, any interesting developments in the entertainment world that caught your attention? I heard about a highly anticipated movie sequel that's set to release soon. Fans are buzzing with excitement. Sequels can be hit or miss, but I hope it lives up to the hype. It's always fun to discuss these topics with you. Absolutely, our conversations are both enlightening and enjoyable. We should do this more often. I completely agree. It's always a pleasure discussing current events and sharing our thoughts. Until next time. Likewise, Kevin. Looking forward to our next conversation. Goodbye for now. Hi Nadav. How's your job going? Any exciting developments at work? Hey Aria. Work has been quite busy, but I recently got a promotion. I'm thrilled about it. How about you? 
Congratulations on the promotion, Nadav. I've been working on a new project, and it's been challenging but rewarding. That's great to hear, Arya. What's the project about? Anything interesting in your industry lately? It's a marketing campaign for a new product launch. We're diving into influencer marketing. Speaking of industry news, have you heard about the latest trends in our field? Yes, content marketing seems to be evolving rapidly. Videos and interactive content are gaining more traction. You're right, staying up to date with industry trends is crucial. Speaking of challenges, what's the most significant one you've faced at work recently? The biggest challenge has been managing a remote team efficiently. It's a different dynamic, but I'm adapting. How about you, Aria? Remote work can be tricky. I've been struggling with time management, but I'm working on improving it. On a related note, any new professional goals you've set for yourself? I'm aiming to enhance my leadership skills and be more proficient in project management. It's essential for my new role. How about you, Aria? Those are great goals, Nadav. I'm looking to improve my public speaking and presentation skills. It's an area I want to excel in. Public speaking is a valuable skill. Best of luck with that, Aria. Have you had a chance to attend any webinars or workshops related to your field? I attended a virtual marketing conference last month. It was enlightening and allowed me to network with professionals in the industry. Conferences are excellent opportunities for growth. Have you considered pursuing any certifications or further education in your field? I've been thinking about it, especially in digital marketing. It can open up new opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, any exciting projects coming up at your workplace? We're launching a new line of products, and I'm leading the marketing campaign for it. It's a big responsibility, but I'm excited. That sounds like an exciting project, Nadav. I'm sure you'll do a fantastic job. So, do you have a mentor at work who's been guiding you in your career? Yes, I have a mentor who's been incredibly supportive. Their guidance has been invaluable. How about you, Aria? I'm lucky to have a mentor as well. Having someone to learn from makes a big difference in career growth. It's crucial for professional development. It definitely is. Let's keep pushing ourselves to achieve our career goals and tackle new challenges. Agreed, Nadav. It's always motivating to discuss our work and career aspirations with you. Likewise, Aria. Our conversations are both informative and inspiring. It's great to have someone to share these thoughts with. I couldn't agree more, Nadav. We're fortunate to have these discussions. Until our next chat. Me too, Aria. Have a wonderful day, and may your career continue to thrive. Goodbye for now. Absolutely, Nadav. And may your journey be filled with success and fulfillment. Goodbye, and take care. Hey Brandon, it's been a while. How have you been? Hi Aurora, I'm great. 
Thanks. Just got back from an amazing trip to Iceland. It was surreal. Iceland? That sounds incredible. What were the highlights of your trip? The northern lights, for sure. Seeing them dance across the sky is something you'll never forget. Wow, that's on my bucket list. How did you plan your trip? Any tips for a fellow traveler? Planning early is key Aurora. And make sure to pack for the weather. It can change in an instant. Good advice. I'll keep that in mind for my next adventure. Speaking of which, I recently visited Japan. Japan is amazing. What cities did you explore? I spent most of my time in Tokyo and Kyoto. The contrast between modernity and tradition was fascinating. Any favorite places in Kyoto? The Fushimi Inari Shrine was breathtaking, and I enjoyed a traditional tea ceremony. I've always wanted to experience that. Did you try the local cuisine? Absolutely. Ramen, sushi, and street food were fantastic. What's your go-to Icelandic dish? You can't go wrong with Icelandic lamb stew. And their fish dishes are incredibly fresh. It all sounds so delicious. What's your dream destination that you haven't been to yet? I've always wanted to explore the Amalfi Coast in Italy. The coastal towns look enchanting. Italy is amazing. I dream of exploring the Greek islands, especially Santorini. Santorini is on my list too. Those sunsets over the caldera are mesmerizing. They truly are. It's a place where time seems to stand still. Have you ever tried extreme sports during your travels? Skydiving in New Zealand was my most exhilarating experience. The landscapes are mind-blowing. I'd love to try that someday. I once went scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Australia is a diver's paradise. Swimming with marine life there must have been incredible. It was. Have you ever been on a wildlife safari during your travels? I had an unforgettable encounter with elephants in South Africa. It was humbling and awe-inspiring. Wildlife encounters are truly magical. Traveling broadens our horizons and fosters appreciation for the world. Absolutely Aurora. It's an ongoing journey of wonder and discovery. And it's even better when we can share travel stories and dreams. Thanks for this great conversation, Brandon. Likewise, Aurora. Until our next chat, may your travels be filled with joy and adventure. You too, Brandon. Safe travels and new adventures await. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Aurora. Take care and keep those travel dreams alive. Hey, Bonnie. It's been a while. How's your health and wellness journey going? Hi, Alicia. I've been trying to stay active. I started a new exercise routine last month. That's great. What kind of exercises are you doing? Mostly cardio and some strength training. It's been challenging but rewarding. 
I admire your dedication. I've been focusing on improving my diet. Eating more fruits and vegetables. Nutrition is key. I've been trying to cut down on processed foods and sugar. That's a smart move. Have you explored any new healthy recipes recently? Yes, I discovered a delicious quinoa and vegetable stir-fry. It's become a favorite. Sounds tasty. I should try that. Speaking of health, how do you manage stress? I've been practicing mindfulness meditation. It's been helping me stay centered. Meditation is wonderful for mental health. I've been taking nature walks to de-stress. Nature has a calming effect. I should join you on a walk sometime. That would be great. It's important to support each other's wellness goals. Absolutely. It's inspiring to see you so committed to health. Let's keep motivating each other. So, what's your exercise routine like? I start with a warm-up, then I do a mix of jogging and bodyweight exercises like push-ups and squats. Consistency is key. I've been trying to establish a routine too. What's your favorite healthy snack? I love a good fruit salad with a sprinkle of chia seeds. It's a tasty and nutritious option. Chia seeds are packed with nutrients. I'll have to try that. Do you follow any fitness influencers for tips? Yes, I follow a few on social media. They share great workout routines and healthy recipes. Social media can be a valuable resource for health and wellness. It's where I discovered yoga. Yoga is fantastic for flexibility and relaxation. How often do you practice? I try to do a 20-minute session daily. It keeps me feeling balanced and energized. That's impressive. You're truly committed to your wellness journey. It's a lifestyle change I'm happy to make. And you? Do you have any wellness goals? My main goal is to reach a healthy weight and maintain it long term. It's all about consistency. Setting achievable goals is important. You're on the right track. What's your favorite way to relax? A hot bath with Epsom salt and some soothing music does wonders for relaxation. That sounds incredibly soothing. I should try that after a long day. And how's your sleep routine? I've been working on getting 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. It makes a big difference. Quality sleep is crucial for overall well-being. I've been working on a consistent sleep schedule. It's amazing how small changes can lead to big improvements in health. Indeed, it's all about those small steps. Have you ever tried a wellness retreat? Not yet, but I'd love to. A week of wellness activities and healthy meals sounds perfect. It's a great way to recharge. I did one in Bali, and it was transformative. Bali is a dream destination for that. I should plan one soon. You'll love it. It's an experience that combines travel and wellness beautifully. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely consider it. So, what's your go-to way to de-stress? 
I find solace in a good book. Reading takes me to another world and eases my mind. Reading is a wonderful escape. It's important to find activities that bring peace. Absolutely. Wellness is about balance and finding what works best for you. Couldn't agree more. Let's keep on this journey to health and happiness. Agreed. Until our next chat, take care and stay well. You too. Stay motivated and healthy. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Let's keep inspiring each other. Hey Brandon. How's your personal growth journey going? Hi Aisha. It's been quite a ride. I've been diving into self-help books lately. That's awesome, Brandon. Any particular book that's had a significant impact on you? The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. It's all about forming good habits. I've heard of that one. Speaking of habits, I've been trying to learn a new skill playing the guitar. That's fantastic, Aisha. Learning a musical instrument can be so fulfilling. How's it going? It's been a bit challenging, but I love the process. Plus, it's a great stress reliever. Music is therapeutic. I've been trying my hand at painting. It's my creative outlet. That's wonderful, Brandon. What do you usually paint? Mostly landscapes and abstract art. It's so freeing. I should try that. Art can be a great way to express oneself. Have you taken any art courses? Yes, I enrolled in an online painting course. It's been a game changer. Online courses are a fantastic way to learn. I'm considering taking a coding course. That's a valuable skill, Aisha. Learning to code opens up so many opportunities. It does. But it's a different language, almost like learning to play a musical instrument. True, they both require dedication and practice. Are there any books that have inspired your coding journey? Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail Lockman McDowell. It's been a great resource. I admire your determination, Aisha. Let's keep pushing ourselves to grow. Agreed, Brandon. And let's hold each other accountable. How do you track your progress in personal growth? I keep a journal. It helps me reflect on my goals and achievements. Journaling is a great practice. I use a habit tracker app to stay organized. Technology can be a useful tool for personal growth. Do you have any favorite self-improvement podcasts? Yes, the Tony Robbins podcast is fantastic. His insights are inspiring. I'll check that out. I've been into podcasts on mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness is a powerful practice for personal growth. It's been life-changing for me. I can see how it would be. It's a journey worth taking. And it's one we're taking together, Brandon. Let's support each other on this path. Absolutely, Aisha. Cheers to continuous growth and learning. Cheers, Brandon.
Until our next chat, keep evolving and thriving. You too, Aisha. Keep reaching for your dreams. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Brandon. Until next time, take care and keep growing. Hey, Bonnie. Anything exciting happening in town for entertainment? Hi, Aaliyah. Yes, there's a music festival coming up this weekend. I got tickets. That sounds amazing. I've been wanting to catch a live concert. Who's headlining? It's a mix of artists, but I'm most excited about the indie rock band playing. Indie rock is my jam. What's the venue like? It's an open-air amphitheater, and the atmosphere there is electric. Count me in. Let's go together. Speaking of music, have you discovered any new bands lately? I've been listening to a local indie band. They have a unique sound. Supporting local talent is fantastic. I watched a mind-bending sci-fi movie last night. Sci-fi is my favorite. What was the movie? Inception. It's a classic, and the concept of dreams within dreams blew my mind. Inception is a masterpiece. Have you seen Blade Runner? Yes. The visual effects and dystopian setting in Blade Runner are incredible. Speaking of dystopian, I started a new TV series, Black Mirror. Black Mirror is a thought-provoking show. Which episode did you watch? The one about a futuristic dating app. It's a cautionary tale about technology. That's a memorable episode. Have you ever tried any dating apps? Yes, I've used a couple. They can be fun, but it's a mixed bag. I've heard mixed stories too. Switching gears, have you played any video games recently? I've been hooked on a role-playing game. The storyline is immersive. Role-playing games can be so captivating. I've been playing a strategy game lately. Strategy games are my jam. Which one are you into? Civilization VI. Building an empire through the ages is challenging and fun. I've lost hours to that game. Have you tried any board games recently? I played Settlers of Caton with friends last weekend. It's always a blast. Board games are a great way to spend time with friends. Have you ever tried an escape room? Yes, escape rooms are thrilling. The puzzles really get the adrenaline going. I had a blast in the last one I tried. Let's do one together sometime. Definitely. It's on my entertainment bucket list. Have you ever been to a comedy show? Yes, stand-up comedy is a riot. I'm always up for a good laugh. Laughter is the best entertainment. I watched a comedy special on Netflix recently. Who was the comedian? It was Ollie Wong. Her humor is a hilarious take on life and parenthood. Ollie Wong is fantastic. Her humor is refreshingly candid. By the way, have you ever been to a film festival? Yes, I attended a local film festival last year. 
It was a unique experience. Film festivals showcase such diverse and thought-provoking content. How about theater shows? I watched a Shakespearean play recently. The language and acting were phenomenal. Shakespearean classics are timeless. I'd love to see a live theater performance. Let's plan that. It's a different kind of entertainment. By the way, have you ever tried improv comedy? Yes, I joined an improv class once. It's challenging but so much fun. Improv is an art of quick thinking. I'd love to give it a try someday. How about karaoke? Karaoke is a blast. I've sung my heart out with friends. Karaoke nights are unforgettable. I sang my favorite rock ballad last time. Rock ballads are perfect for belting out. We should do a karaoke night. Absolutely. We'll bring the house down with our duets. Sounds like a plan. Entertainment in all its forms brings joy and memorable moments. You said it. Until our next adventure in entertainment. Absolutely. Can't wait for the next show, movie, or game. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Take care and let the entertainment continue. Hey, Bernard. It's been a while. Let's catch up. Any significant life events lately? Hi, Anastasia. Yes, I just got promoted at work. It's a huge milestone for me. That's fantastic. Promotion is a well-deserved achievement. How did you celebrate? I went out for a nice dinner with my family. It was a moment of pride and gratitude. Celebrating with family is special. I recently marked a milestone too, my five-year wedding anniversary. Congratulations! That's a significant milestone. Any lessons you've learned in these years? Patience and communication are key. It's a journey of understanding and growth. Have you faced any career challenges? Absolutely. I had a few tough projects, but they taught me resilience and problem solving. Challenges make us stronger. I remember the challenge of learning a new language when I moved abroad. Learning a new language is a big step. It must have opened up new horizons for you. Indeed, it did. I gained a broader perspective on culture and people. Any memorable travel experiences recently? I visited Japan last summer. The culture and traditions left a deep impact on me. Japan is a unique destination. I remember my trip to the Grand Canyon, a breathtaking experience. Natural wonders are all inspiring. I hiked to Machu Picchu last year, and it was a life-changing journey. That's an incredible achievement. Did it inspire any new life goals? Yes, it sparked a desire to travel more and explore different cultures. I want to collect memories, not things. Collecting memories is a beautiful aspiration. It's something I aim for too. Any personal milestones you're striving for? 
I'm aiming to write a novel someday. It's a dream I'm slowly working on. Writing a novel is a remarkable goal. I have a similar dream to start a nonprofit organization. Nonprofit work is meaningful. What's your focus area for the organization? Education and providing opportunities for underprivileged children. I believe it's a milestone worth pursuing. That's a noble cause. I admire your dedication to making a difference. Have you faced any setbacks in this journey? Yes, there have been obstacles, but I've learned that persistence and a strong support network are crucial. Resilience is the key to overcoming obstacles. My career journey has had its share of setbacks too. Setbacks are part of the journey. They test our determination. Have you had any moments of self-discovery? When I traveled solo, I realized the importance of self-reliance and the beauty of solitude. Solo travel is a transformative experience. It makes you more self-aware. Have you experienced turning points in your life? My decision to change careers was a major turning point. It led me to a more fulfilling path. Career transitions can be daunting, but they often lead to personal growth. I recently became a parent, a life-changing turning point. Parenthood is a significant turning point. How has it influenced your perspective on life? It's taught me patience, empathy, and unconditional love. It's a journey of its own. Have you faced any health challenges? I had a health scare a few years back. It made me prioritize self-care and appreciate good health. Health challenges are wake-up calls. I'm glad you're in good health now. Have you ever participated in a marathon? Yes, I ran a half marathon last year. Crossing that finish line was a moment of triumph. Running a marathon is an incredible achievement. I've always wanted to run one. Any advice for someone contemplating it? Start with shorter runs and gradually build your endurance. It's as much a mental challenge as a physical one. That's wise advice. I'm considering running my first 10K race. It's a small step toward a marathon. You'll do great. It's all about setting goals and taking one step at a time. Do you have any role models who've inspired your journey? My grandmother, her resilience through life's challenges, has been my biggest inspiration. Grandparents often hold profound wisdom. My high school teacher inspired my love for literature and writing. Teachers can be amazing influences. Your passion for writing shows. It's been a joy reconnecting. Likewise. These conversations always inspire and remind me of the beauty of life's journey. Absolutely. Until our next chat, keep thriving and embracing every milestone. You too. May life continue to be full of adventures and milestones. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Until next time, take care and keep shining on your unique path. Hey Bodie! I spent the weekend hiking in the nearby national park. It was breathtaking. Hi, Amelia. 
I love hiking too. Which trail did you explore? I took the Pine Ridge Trail. The views were spectacular, especially at the summit. That trail offers some stunning vistas. Nature has a way of humbling us, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's a reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. And yet, we have the privilege of experiencing its beauty. Have you ever gone camping in the wilderness? I did, once. It was a backcountry camping trip. We had to carry everything, but the starry night made it worth it. Backcountry camping is an adventure. The night sky in the wilderness is a sight to behold. Speaking of the night sky, I recently watched a meteor shower. It was a magical experience. Meteor showers are like nature's fireworks. It's awe-inspiring to see shooting stars. It truly is. Have you had any wildlife encounters during your outdoor adventures? I once saw a black bear from a distance while hiking. It was a mix of excitement and caution. Seeing a bear is a rare sight. It's crucial to respect their space. I had a close encounter with a fox during a camping trip. Foxes are cunning and adorable creatures. Did it approach your campsite? It did. I think it was hoping for a snack. We kept our distance and enjoyed watching it. Observing wildlife in its natural habitat is a privilege. It makes you appreciate the importance of conservation. Conservation is vital. Have you been involved in any environmental conservation projects? I joined a local group for beach cleanups. It's shocking how much trash washes ashore. Beach cleanups are essential to protect marine life. I volunteered for tree planting events to combat deforestation. Tree planting is a noble cause. It helps combat climate change and promotes green spaces. We have to take responsibility for our environment. Did you know that I once went on a bird watching expedition? Bird watching is such a peaceful activity. Which birds did you spot during your expedition? I saw a variety of songbirds and even a bald eagle. It's fascinating to observe their behavior. Bald eagles are majestic birds. It's incredible to witness them in their habitat. Have you ever gone kayaking? I have. Kayaking through calm rivers is a serene experience. It's like gliding on water. I love kayaking. It's a fantastic way to connect with nature and explore waterways. Any plans for whitewater rafting? Whitewater rafting is on my adventure list. I've heard it's an adrenaline rush. Have you tried it? Yes, I did it once in a remote river. It's thrilling, and you get soaked. How about mountain biking? Mountain biking is so much fun. I enjoy the thrill of riding through rugged terrain. It's a great way to get your heart pumping and explore new trails nature offers endless adventures. Indeed. The great outdoors has so much to offer. I recently took up geocaching. It combines adventure and exploration. Geocaching is like a treasure hunt in nature. Finding hidden caches is always exciting. 
Have you ever explored caves? Caving is a unique experience. I explored a limestone cave and saw incredible rock formations. Caves hold secrets underground. The formations are like natural art. Have you ever been on a canopy walk? I did. Walking on those suspended bridges amidst the treetops is both thrilling and serene. It's a great way to observe the forest canopy and its inhabitants. I once went horseback riding in the wilderness. Horseback riding lets you cover more ground and connect with nature. Did you spot any wildlife? I saw deer and a few wild rabbits. Horses have a way of blending in with the environment. It's like being a part of the landscape. I also recently learned about Leave No Trace principles for outdoor ethics. Leave No Trace is vital for preserving natural beauty. It teaches us to respect and protect the environment. It's about responsible outdoor recreation. We must do our part to ensure nature's legacy. Speaking of responsibility, have you ever taken part in a reforestation project? I have. It's rewarding to plant trees and contribute to the restoration of ecosystems. Reforestation is crucial to counter deforestation. It's a proactive step towards a greener future. Absolutely. Our actions today shape the world for future generations. It's our duty to leave a legacy of conservation and appreciation for the outdoors. Let's keep exploring, learning, and protecting nature. I couldn't agree more. Until our next adventure, take care and enjoy the beauty of the great outdoors. You too. May the wonders of nature continue to inspire you. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Until next time, let's keep exploring and protecting our natural world. Hi there. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah, by the way. I'm Alex. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sarah. The pleasure is mine, Alex. Are you enjoying the event so far? Yes, it's been great. How about you? I'm having a good time as well. By the way, have you met anyone else here? I've talked to a few people, but you're the first person I've had a chance to really chat with. That's nice to hear. So, what brings you to this event? A friend of mine invited me. How about you? I heard about it from a colleague at work and thought it would be a fun way to spend the evening. Sounds like a good decision. It's always nice to meet new people. Absolutely, I totally agree. So, Alex, what do you do for a living? I'm a graphic designer. How about you, Sarah? I work in marketing. It's interesting to meet someone from a creative field. It is. Graphic design and marketing often go hand in hand. So, do you have any hobbies? I enjoy painting and playing the guitar. How about you? I love photography and hiking. Maybe we can exchange some creative tips later. That sounds like a plan, Alex. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, Sarah. Anyway, it was really nice meeting you. Enjoy the rest of the event. You too, Sarah. 
Have a great time. Hey there, how's your day going so far? Hi. It's been quite productive. I started my day with some yoga and meditation to set the tone. How about you? That sounds like a great way to begin the day. I usually kick off my mornings with a brisk jog followed by a healthy breakfast. Oh, that's impressive. I've been trying to incorporate more physical activity into my routine. How do you manage to stick to it? It took some time to build the habit, but now it's become an integral part of my routine. After breakfast, I spend about 20 minutes reading, usually nonfiction, to learn something new. That's a smart idea. I usually do my reading in the evening, but I might consider shifting it to the morning. After my morning routine, I dive into work tasks and meetings. Speaking of work, I've been experimenting with the Pomodoro Technique. I work for 25 minutes and then take a 5-minute break. It's really helped with my focus and productivity. That's interesting. I've heard about that technique but never tried it. Maybe I should give it a shot. After work, I usually head to the gym for a strength training session. Consistent exercise is key. After my workday, I allocate time for creative pursuits. Lately, I've been working on a personal writing project. That's fantastic. It's important to have creative outlets. I usually wind down by practicing mindfulness and spending quality time with my family. Mindfulness is something I've been meaning to incorporate more into my routine. Do you have any tips? I find dedicating a few minutes to deep breathing and focusing on the present moment helps. It's rejuvenating. By the way, my evenings are usually reserved for online courses. Continuous learning, I like that. In the evenings, I wind down by enjoying a good book or catching up on a documentary. That sounds like a perfect way to unwind. I've been trying to limit screen time before bed to improve my sleep quality. That's a smart move. Quality sleep is crucial. Well, it's inspiring to hear about your daily routine. It seems like you've got a good balance. Thank you, and yours sounds equally well-rounded. It's all about finding what works for us individually, right? Absolutely, it's a journey of self-discovery and improvement. Anyway, I need to get back to work. It was great chatting with you. You too. Let's catch up again soon and exchange more productivity and routine tips. Sounds like a plan. Have a productive day. You too. Hey Jamie, it's been a while. How's everything going in your world? Hi, Alex. I know, it feels like ages. Everything's good, just keeping busy with work and family. How about you? I can relate to that. Family has been a big focus for me lately. We just celebrated my parents' 40th wedding anniversary last weekend. Wow! 40 years, that's impressive. How did you celebrate? We threw a surprise party for them with close family and friends. It was heartwarming to see their faces light up. That sounds amazing. Family gatherings can be so special. Speaking of which, my cousin is getting married next month and preparations are in full swing. That's exciting news. 
Weddings are always a mix of joy and chaos. How's the planning coming along? It's been a roller coaster, to be honest. The guest list, the venue, and the logistics have been quite a puzzle to solve. I can imagine. But it'll all come together in the end, and it's going to be a beautiful celebration. On a different note, I've been trying to connect more with my siblings lately. That's great to hear. I think as we grow older, those bonds become even more important. How has it been going? It's been wonderful. We've started having regular game nights and movie marathons. It's a great way to catch up and strengthen our relationships. That's a fantastic idea. Quality time together can really create lasting memories. By the way, my younger brother just started college last month. That's a big step. How is he adjusting to college life? It's been a mix of excitement and challenges. He's finding his way around and making new friends. It's a transformative time for him. Absolutely, college is a unique experience. I remember my time there fondly. And speaking of transitions, my niece is about to start high school. Time flies, doesn't it? High school can be a pivotal period. How is she feeling about it? She's a mix of nervousness and excitement. I've been sharing my own high school stories to reassure her. It's funny how our own experiences resurface. It's true, we often find ourselves relating to the next generation. Anyway, I have to run to a meeting soon. But let's not wait so long to catch up again. Absolutely. Let's not. It's been great hearing about your family and sharing mine. Take care and talk to you soon. You too, Alex. Have a wonderful day and give my regards to your family. Will do, Jamie. Take care and talk soon. Hey Liam, it's been a while. How have you been? Hi, Emily. I've been well, thanks. How about you? Any exciting plans coming up? Actually, yes. I'm planning a trip to Paris next month. I've always wanted to explore the city. That's amazing. Paris is a dream destination. Have you sorted out your accommodations? Yes, I booked a cozy Airbnb near the Eiffel Tower. I can't wait to wake up to that view every morning. That sounds incredible. And how are you planning to get around the city? Are you familiar with the public transportation system? Not entirely, but I've heard the metro is quite convenient. Do you have any tips on using it? Definitely. The metro is efficient, but it might get crowded during rush hours. Make sure to get a metro map and plan your routes in advance. Thanks for the advice, Liam. By the way, have you been to Paris before? Yes, a few years ago. The Louvre, the Seine River Cruise, and Mon Matra are must-visit spots. And don't forget to try the local pastries. I'll definitely make a list of those. Speaking of past travel, I heard you went on a road trip recently? Yes, I did a road trip along the West Coast. Drove from San Francisco to Los Angeles, stopping at national parks along the way. That sounds like a fantastic adventure. How was the experience? 
It was incredible. The scenic drives, the hikes, and the diverse landscapes made it unforgettable. I'm getting even more excited about my trip now. I'm planning to do a lot of walking and exploring in Paris. That's the best way to experience the city's charm. Remember to wear comfortable shoes. I will, thanks. Oh, and speaking of travel essentials, do you have any recommendations for language apps? I want to learn some basic French. Duolingo and Babel are great options. Learning a few phrases can enhance your experience and interactions with locals. Excellent, I'll check those out. Thanks for the suggestion. Anyway, I should let you get back to your day. It's been great catching up, Liam. You too, Emily. Have an amazing time planning your trip, and feel free to ask if you need more travel tips. Safe travels. Thanks a lot, Liam. Take care and talk to you soon. Take care and bon voyage. Emily. Hey Jake, long time no see. How have you been? Hi Maya. I've been good, thanks. How about you? Any exciting plans lately? Well, I've been doing a bit of shopping lately. I needed to update my wardrobe for the upcoming season. Ah, the joys of shopping. Are you more of an online shopper or do you prefer the in-store experience? I usually lean towards online shopping for convenience, but I do enjoy trying on clothes in a physical store. I get that. There's something about physically trying things on that online shopping can't replicate. Have you found any good deals? I did score some discounts during the recent sale events. But I also love supporting local boutiques when I can. That's a great approach. Supporting local businesses is important. By the way, speaking of shopping, do you have any recommendations for tech gadgets? I'm in the market for a new laptop. Sure. Depending on your needs, I can suggest a few brands and models that offer good performance and value for money. Thanks, Maya. I'll definitely appreciate your insights on this. On a different note, have you ever tried negotiating prices with shopkeepers? Oh, definitely. Especially in markets or when buying big-ticket items. It's a bit of an art, but it can be rewarding. I've always been a bit hesitant to negotiate, but I guess it's worth a shot. Switching gears, I'm actually ordering groceries online now. It's so convenient. It really is. The convenience of doorstep delivery can't be beat. Plus, it's a time saver true and i've been trying to be more eco-friendly so i opt for minimal packaging whenever possible on another note i'm ordering takeout for dinner tonight any restaurant recommendations well it depends on what you're in the mood for there's a new thai place that's been getting good reviews or you could go for the classic pizza option Thai sounds tempting. I'll give it a shot. By the way, have you ever had any unusual experiences with service providers? Oh, definitely. Once, I ordered a sofa online and it arrived in the wrong color. It took quite a few calls to customer service to sort it out. That sounds frustrating. Customer service can make or break a shopping experience. Anyway, I should get going. 
Thanks for the chat, Maya. No problem, Jake. Always happy to chat about shopping and services. Enjoy your day and happy shopping. You too, Maya. Take care and catch you later. Hey Michael, it's been a while. How have you been? Hi Sarah. I've been well, thanks. How about you? You look a bit tired. Yeah, I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've been experiencing some trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you should consider talking to a doctor about it. You're right. I've been thinking about it, especially because my energy levels have been low during the day. It's always good to seek professional advice, especially if it's affecting your daily life. On a different note, have you been keeping up with your exercise routine? Not as much as I'd like to. With work and other commitments, finding time has been a challenge. I can relate. But maintaining a regular exercise routine can really help improve your sleep and overall well-being. You're absolutely right. I need to prioritize exercise more. By the way, I noticed you've been eating healthier lately. Any tips? Definitely. Meal planning and prepping in advance can make a big difference. And try to incorporate more fruits and veggies into your diet. Thanks for the advice. I need to make better food choices. On the topic of health, I've been having some back pain recently. That's no fun. Is it a constant ache or more of a sharp pain? It's more of a dull ache that's been bothering me when I sit for long periods. It might be a good idea to see a chiropractor or a physical therapist. They can help identify the cause and suggest exercises to alleviate it. I'll look into that, thanks. By the way, have you tried meditation or mindfulness to manage stress? I've been hearing good things. Absolutely, I meditate daily. It's helped me manage stress and stay focused. There are many apps and resources to guide you. That sounds like a great practice. I'll definitely give it a try. On a different note, any recommendations for improving sleep quality? Creating a bedtime routine can help signal to your body that it's time to wind down. Avoid screens an hour before bed and try reading or gentle stretches. Those are some practical tips, thanks! Well, I should get going. Thanks for the health chat, Michael. No problem, Sarah. It's always good to talk about well-being. Take care of yourself and don't hesitate to reach out if you need more advice. Thanks, Michael. You too. Stay healthy and talk to you soon. You too, Sarah. Take care and catch you later. Hey James, it's been a while. How's everything going at the office? Hi Emma. I've been busy but good. How about you? How's your new role treating you? It's been challenging but fulfilling. I recently took on more responsibilities, including leading a new project team. That's impressive. Leading a team can be demanding. How are you managing the added workload? Time management and delegation have been crucial. 
And, of course, effective communication with the team is key. Absolutely. Communication is the linchpin of successful teamwork. Speaking of work, have you thought about your long-term career goals? Definitely. I see myself moving into a management position in the next few years. I'm focusing on building leadership skills. That's a great ambition. It's important to have a clear trajectory. For me, I've been considering a shift to a different department for broader experience. Exploring different areas within the company can provide valuable insights. Have you discussed it with your supervisor? Not yet, but I'm planning to in the coming weeks. It's a big decision, so I want to be well prepared. Wise approach. And speaking of preparations, I heard you recently attended a networking event. How did it go? It was fantastic. I connected with some industry leaders and got insights into emerging trends. Plus, I made a few promising contacts. Networking can open doors to opportunities. I'm actually prepping for a job interview next week. Any tips? Definitely. Research the company thoroughly, prepare answers for common interview questions, and practice your star stories. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely apply those tips. On another note, how do you manage to maintain work-life balance? It's a constant challenge, but I've been setting clear boundaries, delegating tasks, and taking short breaks during the day. Finding that balance is crucial for long-term success. Well, I should get back to work. Thanks for the chat, James. No problem, Emma. It's always great to discuss work and career. Best of luck with your interview, and feel free to reach out if you need more advice. Thanks, James. You too. Take care and catch you later. You too, Emma. Take care and all the best in your career endeavors. Hey Liam, it's been a while. How's everything going with your studies? Hi Olivia. I've been busy with coursework, but it's been an exciting journey. How about you? How's your learning path shaping up? I've been diving into online courses to expand my skill set. Lifelong learning is important to me, and online platforms make it accessible. I agree. The ease of accessing quality education online is a game changer. By the way, what's your educational background? I have a degree in marketing, but I've been dabbling in graphic design lately. It's refreshing to explore new areas. That's versatile. I've been focusing on computer science, but I've also been curious about philosophy and psychology. Those are intriguing subjects. It's great that you're exploring diverse fields. Speaking of favorites, do you have a subject that's close to your heart? Definitely. I'm really drawn to artificial intelligence and its potential to shape our future. How about you? I have a soft spot for behavioral economics. It's fascinating how our decisions are influenced by psychology and economics. That's a unique interest. The interdisciplinary nature of learning is truly captivating. By the way, I've been considering taking up a mentorship program to enhance my skills. That's a fantastic idea. 
A mentor can provide invaluable guidance and insights. Have you found any suitable programs? I'm in the process of researching. It's important to find a mentor who aligns with your goals and values. Definitely, a good mentor-mentee match is crucial. Speaking of learning, I remember you mentioning a challenging project in one of your classes. Yes, it was a group project on AI ethics. Collaborating with diverse perspectives was both challenging and enlightening. Group projects can be both rewarding and frustrating. How did you manage to balance differing opinions? Active listening and respecting each person's viewpoint were key. It taught me the importance of effective communication. Wise lessons that extend beyond academia. Anyway, I'm enrolling in a public speaking course next month. Do you have any tips? Practice, practice, practice and start with smaller audiences to build your confidence. Role-playing scenarios can be helpful too. Solid advice, Liam. I'll definitely apply that. Well, I should let you get back to your studies. Thanks for the education chat. No problem, Olivia. It's always enlightening discussing education with you. Have a productive day and catch you later. You too, Liam. Keep embracing the learning journey and take care. Hi Emily, I've been thinking about how important it is to know how to respond in different emergency situations. What are your thoughts on this? Absolutely, Alex. Being prepared for emergencies can make all the difference. Whether it's a lost child, a car accident, or getting lost on a hike, knowing how to ask for help and report incidents is crucial. Exactly. Let's start with a scenario. Imagine you're in a crowded amusement park, and your child suddenly goes missing. Oh, that's terrifying. In such a situation, I would approach a park employee and calmly explain that my child is missing. I'd provide a description and ask for their assistance in locating them. That's a smart approach. Clear communication and seeking help from authorities is essential. And in case you witness an accident, how would you handle it? If I saw an accident in a parking lot, for instance, I would immediately call emergency services if there were injuries. I'd also try to help those involved and gather any information, like license plate numbers, to share with responders. Great! Reporting incidents promptly and accurately is critical for a quick response. Now. Imagine you're hiking, and you realize you've lost your way on the trail. What would you do? If I got lost on a trail, I'd first try to retrace my steps to the last recognizable point. If that didn't work, I'd stay calm and use any landmarks or signs to determine my location. If needed, I'd use my phone's map or GPS to find my way back. Smart thinking. Keeping a level head and using available resources are key. It's important to avoid panic in such situations. And what about seeking assistance in a general sense? Seeking assistance can be as simple as asking someone nearby for directions or help. It's crucial to communicate clearly and ask politely. People are generally willing to assist if they know you're in need. Absolutely. Effective communication is vital. Additionally, knowing the emergency contact numbers of the area you're in is important, as well as having a basic understanding of first aid. 
true. A little knowledge can go a long way in making a difference in emergency situations. And practicing scenarios like these through role-playing can help build confidence. Definitely. Role-playing helps us think on our feet and respond quickly. It's reassuring to know that we can handle unexpected situations with a level head. Absolutely. Being prepared not only keeps us safe, but also helps others in need. It's a responsibility we should all take seriously. Well said, Emily. It's been great discussing this with you. Let's hope we never have to use these skills, but being prepared gives us peace of mind. Exactly, Alex. Stay safe, and remember, being informed and calm can be our best tools in emergencies. Hi Ravi, I was thinking about how diverse our country is and how different regions have their own cultural practices. What's your take on this? Absolutely, Ria. India's cultural diversity is one of its most beautiful aspects. From languages to traditions, it's like a tapestry of unique customs. So true. For instance, the way festivals are celebrated can vary greatly from one state to another. Diwali is celebrated with so much enthusiasm in different ways across India. Definitely. In the north, it's all about lighting lamps and bursting fireworks, while in the south, it's more about elaborate rangoli and sweets. And speaking of customs, we have our own set of social norms that guide our interactions. For instance, addressing elders with respect and folding hands in a namaste gesture. Absolutely, Ria. The concept of respect your elders is deeply rooted in our culture. It's seen as a sign of humility and values. Yes, and there's also the idea of offering food to guests as a form of hospitality. It's considered impolite to decline, even if you're not hungry. That's true. Refusing food can be seen as a lack of appreciation for the effort put into preparing it. Accepting graciously is the norm. And when it comes to social gatherings, we often dress conservatively, especially in more traditional settings. It's a sign of respect for the occasion. Right. Dressing appropriately shows that you understand the significance of the event. It's considered good manners. Absolutely. And even in terms of conversation, we tend to avoid controversial topics like religion and politics, especially with people we don't know well. Yes, those topics can sometimes lead to heated debates. It's considered wise to keep conversations light and friendly, especially with new acquaintances. It's fascinating how our cultural norms guide our behavior and interactions. It's like an unspoken code that helps us navigate social situations. Definitely. Our cultural norms are a reflection of our values and traditions, and they play a big role in maintaining harmony in our society. Well said, Ravi. It's been great discussing this with you. Our cultural diversity and social norms truly make India a unique and vibrant place. Absolutely, Ria. Let's continue to appreciate and embrace the richness of our cultural heritage. My dear friends, if you are satisfied with this tutorial, please help me to develop this channel, so please press the like or dislike button. It is highly important to me. Thank you, thank you very much for your support.